And Armenia's Prime Minister has contacted the Russian and French presidents, along with the US Secretary of State, to discuss the, those later border clashes between Armenian and Azerbaijani troops. Prime Minister Nikol Pashian saying that 49 Armenian soldiers died overnight in clashes. It's the latest flare-up in decades-old tension between these two neighbours over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijan having re-established full control over the territory in a six-week conflict in 2020. Earlier I spoke to Regis Jonté, who's the correspondent for France 24's sister radio station RFI in the Georgian capital. This is uh, the most serious flare-up of, uh, of violence uh, since the war, uh, the 2020 year, uh, war, uh, which happened uh, two years ago. 44 days, 6,500 6, uh, uh, military died at the, at the moment. It was a very serious conflict where Azerbaijan managed to, to take back part of the Karabakh uh, under its control. And uh, since then, there were some flare-ups of, uh, of uh, between the Armenia and Azerbaijan, but this one is obviously the most serious one. 49 uh, 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 casualties at this moment only for the Armenian side. And the Prime Minister, Nicole Pashinyan, said that it is not the final, probably not the, the final uh, uh, number. So it's, it's very serious. It's also very serious because all this uh, uh, um, uh, uh, shelling of the night uh, happened on the Armenian territory. So this is really between two states. And uh, this is, of course, uh, very important. And this is why the Armenian side decided um, to uh, call for Russia to, to help because because of uh, the treaty between Armenia and Russia, and also because of the, uh, um, um, they, they asked to the um, co um, organization of the cooperation of the security, which is uh, led by Russia, to, to help also as one of the members of this organization was attacked by another state, Azerbaijan in this case.